Hello, Pisces. Let's go ahead and do another bonus reading for you. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. What's going on, Pisces? Pisces in love. All right. We are much of a thinker recently. Pisces, you're thinking about <laughs> a lot of things. <laughs> thinking about what makes you happy. Yeah, what can make you happy? Uh, a situation, Pisces, where you probably have left somebody or just stopped talking to someone. Or could even be that you have uh, stop, uh, you know, being so proactive this time around. It could be relating to your work or your love life as well. But there is... Um... Okay, so you are doing your own thing. That's what I see. You're doing your own thing just because you don't... There are some instances that you are dealing with right now and you don't know the you still don't know the final outcome of it and so you may be in a loop right now you may be feeling Pisces that you are in a loop or that um, there are issues in your life right now that uh, you're wanting to resolve and yet things are still very much in a gray tone meaning you still haven't found a solution to it yet so you're doing your own thing. You're, you're finding a space where you can think of a solution for your problem. And I feel like you're doing it on your own. You're not um, going around asking help from other people or offloading it to your therapist or whatever. It's more like you are on your own. You're trying to find ways and means to resolve whatever situation you're in. Or difficult situation you're in but there is somebody that you're kind of missing Pisces uh, you're missing someone you're or you're missing that emotional connection with somebody um, I also see that there would be uh, a new connection or not necessarily new but there is a connection that is gonna come into your life and that could possibly give you something new to enjoy. <laughs> something new to enjoy. So let's see what this is. It has gotten too complicated. <laughs> yeah, there is a situation here where somebody will make an offer to you. This could be a job or a love offering, whatever this is. But there is an opportunity that will be open up for you. Yeah, which could lead to... Um, which could lead to some form of stability in your life. This could be an offering that you've been waiting for. Now, we're talking about their feelings towards you, right? So I see um, a situation here where you're pretty much single, able, ready to mingle. <laughs> um, but on the other hand, the other person that we're going to be talking about here is that this is someone who's not feeling pretty great right now. Somebody who may be um, detached from the situation with you. Um, somebody who doesn't want to be involved in any, you know, heart-to-heart -heart type of conversation. Uh, primarily because they are not feeling so great. Yeah, this is some. Uh, it's an energy of somebody who may be feeling depressed. Um, or that tr somebody who's trying to look for new ways of having fun may not be ultimate fun, but just, you know, having fun in the moment because their life right now is not feeling so great at all. Somebody may be having some financial issues or somebody is um, feeling as though they don't have all the capacity to go through life you know somebody who's feeling depressed basically somebody who's feeling depressed feeling abandoned for some reason or that's the mentality of of they don't have enough they don't have um you know the lack mentality all right let's see how does this person view pisces 
Well, they view you as somebody who does your own thing. If you want to enjoy, you enjoy. If you want to go for、um, watch a movie, you do that. You don't even hesitate to do it on your own.、Uh, for the most part, they see that whenever you want to embark into something new, like a new job, a new venture, a new endeavor, or anything, or even if you want to travel on your own, they can see that you are very much capable of doing so. On your own, like you make things happen for you, including having fun. Yeah, so that's a very admirable、uh, type of energy for a person to see you that way, right? All right. So this person actually have something, <laughs> something of a worry. Yeah, they are worrying about. Perhaps they may have disappointed you in the past, or that、um, whatever you had in the past really was really good until until it lasted, right?、Um, but it seems like things are on a pause right now between the two of you, and this person is kind of thinking,、um, should I call Pisces? And when they call you, or when they reach out to you. Or when they take a step towards this connection, you know, you might be talking to each other right now. But in terms of really somebody pursuing、uh, the connection,、um, I don't see that happening right now. But this person is kind of evaluating: what can I offer Pisces?、Uh, something that Pisces would appreciate. What can I offer Pisces? Would it be, I don't know, what would be your ten of、uh, Pentacles, Pisces? You know, so this person is kind of thinking about that. They're thinking about what they can offer to you. They're thinking about what they can express to you. How do they feel deep inside, so that they can also express that to you? Because for some reason they know that whatever they've done in the past wasn't really great. If they have played you, they have、uh, deceived you, or they have not been so consistent with you, they know that. Especially if you were giving in the past. If you were giving, then this person would feel right now that, well, when I had Pisces attention, when I have Pisces love, that was great. Yeah, and now they realize that they've lost it. Yeah, they've lost it. A few more Pisces. Let's see what else do we have here. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna end it here because you see we have the Ten of Cups, which is really beautiful. I feel that、um, this person is kind of checking you out,、um, even from a distance.、Uh, they don't really mingle with you as often, but they do check you out. They keep tabs on you right now, and they're very optimistic, or they're trying to be optimistic that、um, they can still spin this around. You know, somebody here is is sort of like admiring you from a distance, and at the same time having that positivity. That when they reconnect with you, things are just gonna be all right. And you know what? I feel like this person is gonna come forward and make the gesture. We have the Knight of Cups here, so you could be expecting somebody、um, coming forward, reaching out to you, talking to you, calling you, yeah, and then be friendly. You know, somebody who would be friendly towards you to start with, at least, and then they start to be more charming. You know. And then ultimately, I feel like there will be an the utmost sense of happiness here, whether it's going to be on your end or at the same time on the other person's end. But there's happiness.、Um, I feel like this reconnection could also make you both happy. Yeah, which could yeah emotionally happy, meaning you'll be you you'll be、um, appreciative of this person's gesture. And at the same time, I'm seeing that perhaps your response to their advances could also could also be good, because ten of cups is not just going to happen just for one person. Usually, it happens for both, especially in love connection. Yeah, that means that both parties are enjoying the moment, enjoying the company, enjoying the reciprocal、um, investment. Yeah. Real feelings can't let go. Need space and love hate relationship. More to learn. So first, um, I see that this situation may not have been the first time 
you know, for this person to come and go. Uh, cases where at times when you're together, you really love to be with this person, but when they're not with you, if they're ghosting you or they're away from you, now you start to not really dislike them, yeah? And during that t those times when you dislike them, you both needed some space, yeah? You needed some space to uh, left off steam, yeah? But I see here that um, in this connection, there are real feelings. And I feel like it's for both parties. When you, re when you connected and uh, you really felt that spark, you really felt that connection, it was real. It was real. So when you needed space, when you separated for whatever reason, um, you probably have tried to let go. They probably have tried to let go as well. And I see that this person really did that. They kind of really detached. But at the same time, they can't fully let you go. So that's what I'm seeing. Let's get you an advice card, Pisces. Oops. What do we have for Pisces? Magic and Leo. All right. So cast a spell to remove any blockages that are keeping you stuck and create movement and flow back into your life. Yeah, so this is like, you know, we have several ways of um, creating magic in our life, in our lives. Some people would, I don't know, meditate. Some people would literally cast a spell and make that as their mantra every single day. But I feel like on your end, Pisces, do whatever you want to do in terms of creating magic in your life. But the main essence is try to remove any blockages whether it be mental blockages, emotional blockages that are keeping you in the same situation where you are no longer happy. Yeah. Because you need that movement. You need, we're human beings, we're full of energy, right? We need that energy to keep moving in our lives. So once you're stuck, sometimes um, it's really hard to progress from there. Um, here we have the Leo energy that means embodying that sense of confidence, you know, the loyalty within us, being loyal first to ourselves and uh, being loyal to the people that we care about. Don't allow your false ego close you off to the true situation and cause you to go into defensive mode. Yeah. And I feel like this is more like if you are confident if you are loyal to yourself, it's easy to be you. Yeah. Ego, sometimes we use that to, as a defense mechanism, right? To protect us. But here, the advice for you is be yourself. I know it's such a cliche, but when you want to be yourself, that means you come out just you. No pretensions. Yeah. And when there are people who would connect with you at that level... I would say that I would want to get to know those people, yeah, because those are the people that would have the possibility for authentic connection with you. I'm going to leave it at that and let me know if this resonates in the comment section below. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe.